I'm Nathan Taggart, CEO of Investor in Me. Uh, Investor in Me is changing the way that people select and invest in stocks today. Professional traders and professional investors have a lot of data at their fingertips. Uh, when they're picking a stock, it's not just if they like the company, but it's, you know, do they like the industry? Do they think it's growing? Do they think it's in a good market? Um, what Investor in Me is trying to do is take all that data and make it really accessible for people. And the way that we're doing that is we ask questions of a private investor, get to know what they like, their values, their opinions, and we use that information to help match them to potential investments. It gives them a short list of stocks that they can then research in and consider investing in. 30 years ago, if you wanted to invest in stocks, you would pick up the phone and call a broker. So brokers um, wanted to you know, be able to charge for their expert advice, and so they, as an industry, they created industry jargon and made things very technical. Their job wasn't to make it approachable, their job was to be able to consult on what they do. Um, as the technology matured, people could start trading online, these professionals created tools that would be good for them, and they created tools that would be good for their high value customers, which are sophisticated investors and high net worth investors. They didn't make tools for small investors, and it was never really a problem because uh, small investors didn't know what to ask for, didn't know what to get. So what we're trying to do is make it easy for smaller investors, regular people, you and I, uh, to allow us to trade just like a professional would, uh, but with easier to use tools. My, my background is in finance. I was a, a registered stockbroker. And, um, in the industry, I realized that there's a lot of motivation to um, get people to buy and sell stocks um, for the commissions rapidly and not necessarily um, in the best interest of the client. And so I was really turned off by that. I left the industry. It was, um, I realized that they weren't giving advice, they were doing sales. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the right motivation for me to do it. And always coming back to this, though, coming back to the finance side, it's something that I have a lot of uh, experience with, and so there's been a lot of interest to continue down that path. Uh, this year I worked with a uh, private investment fund, and I helped them to create software that would allow them to identify really complex trading scenarios and rapidly be able to get into and out of a market that fit their criteria. Uh, in doing that, I realized that there's a real opportunity for uh, computers and specifically for websites uh, because they're so accessible to people to really help people to identify opportunities that are right for them. They're just a, a good match. Um, there's certainly some big players in the market. Uh, we, don't, we don't see ourselves as replacing them. We think they have good advice, good tools. Um, it's important for investors to learn and understand some of the basics. Uh, our, our model's a little different in that we're not trying to teach someone how to trade. What we're trying to do is take the jargon out of it and let what they already know shine through. Because um, we, we actually think that buying stock is fairly simple and selling stock is fairly simple. The, the trick is finding the right stock. Uh, what's right for you? Are you someone who can tolerate a lot of volatility as the price goes up and down? Um, or does that seem a little scary? You'd rather have something that's maybe a little more steady. Um, those kinds of decisions are things that can be automated very, very effectively. And so it puts a lot of control back in the hands of the investor. Uh, I have two co-founders. Uh, Jason Collingwood is my CTO and Chris Chong, uh, my chief marketing officer. Uh, Jason's working locally as a senior Drupal engineer. Uh, he has a lot of experience in the Drupal community and um, working in the framework. So Chris Chong is our chief marketing officer. Uh, Chris owns and operates uh, three local marketing firms. Um, his First and main one is rdev.com. He's also the owner of ehotleads.com and SEO Smart Links. Uh, Chris has been really involved in the local business community, working with small businesses, helping them use their websites not just to promote themselves, but to support their underlying business goals. Really, I think that's the distinguishing factor in a, in a successful business, is getting the right people on board. Yeah. Um, and, and as CEO, I think that's my biggest job, is, is uh, making sure that we have the right people in the right seats on the bus. Yeah, I think, um, I think Portland's such an independent city, and everyone wants to do things on their own. Even, even the, if you look at the strength of the, the open source community here, uh, a lot of those projects are individual developers kind of working on their own towards a greater good. 
And, um, and there's something really exciting about that, but I think for a startup to be really successful, what you need to do is bring in these different skill sets. Have someone who owns the technology and, and can focus on that and can make decisions on that. I mean, getting someone in there who um, can call the shots and that the rest of the team can trust to do that. Uh, having someone who's really focused on acquiring users and promoting the brand and, you know, in a, in a very honest way, being able to be real sincere about helping grow the company. Um, and <laughs> then, of course, obviously, you need a, you need a leader of sorts. Um, I'm a uh, very passionate CEO. So I think that's either the best or worst possible trait I could have. Um, I'm, I'm our biggest uh, cheerleader, I'm our biggest customer, I think, uh, which is really fun. But you know, the challenge for me is also to, to be listening and always be open-minded and make sure that, that we're not just building what we want because we're excited about it, but that we're building what our customers are asking for, that we're listening to them. And the hardest part of what I do is picking what not to build, what not to do. Um, which I think is something that's not talked about a lot. Everyone talks about their big idea, what they want to do next. Um, I think more people need to talk about how to trim that idea down to have a really pure and simple thing that you can execute on. So we're a pre-launch company, which means we are not yet available to, to the public. But what we are doing is uh, giving out beta invites, and we'd like to make sure that Meet the Startup viewers are among the first to test the site and be able to give us feedback uh, we know that the Meet the Startup community is going to be really valuable in helping shape where we go next. So if you'd like to get a beta invite, please uh, visit the link on this page and you'll be able to uh, join our, our program early.